What up out there in YouTube land? Flesh and Bone took time to speak on his experience in prison. Because if you know like I know, and you a Bone fan, you'll remember when Flesh got caught with the guns and drugs and had to go do that time at the peak of Bone, Thugs and Harmony, the group's career. September 22nd, 2000, Flesh and Bone was sent to Pleasant Valley State Prison. How did the inmates treat me? Was that probably 99.9% .9 of them love me and my little brothers to death. They, the, the last pen I went to, I got, you know, I got very little sleep in there because of, of, of the excitement of the buzz of Bone Thugs and Harvey, man, it was fucking fever. You feel what I'm saying? In 1999, I'm on top of the world, you know what I'm saying, not being responsible, getting arrested, lost it all. It was other, a few cases and there was an assault, so, you know, assault with a gun, and, and, and that's what, you know, it ended up getting me that, that long. When they, when they set it back, like, Stack, you gotta do three more days. Everything happened for a reason. For one, B wasn't on track. For two, Cray had something to do for Showtime, and then Wish, he had, Wish was coaching, uh, <laughs> Wish was coaching the team. So he had to do that. We the leaders in the hood. I feel it a little bit having to do an extra three days because you, you, you get ready. I mean, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to go. And then they, then they give you a long sob story of why you got to stay longer. That ain't the business, but you got to accept it as it is. And I did that. What? What? You did 10? To see the whole crew like this, I couldn't ask for nothing greater. To see what happened and why, you know, and you put the pieces of the puzzle together, you know. Now, being that Flesh come from the streets of Cleveland, I'm pretty sure he didn't check off and go to no witness protection or SEG or anything like that. So that's how you get treated when you a real one. You've been rocking with Tula TV. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.